Good morning. This is Jeff here with Jeffrey Tipton Wildlife Photography, and I wanted to make a quick video today about the Atomos Ninja V Plus uh, with a new operating system, the OS 11 operating system in the Atomos, and using it with a Canon R5 or R5 Mark II. In this case, I'm using a Canon R5. I ended up coming across a blog that I'll link below that was a tremendous amount of help in figuring a lot of this out. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and cover my custom settings for video in the R5 first and then as I go through them I will talk about the settings that I use in the Atomos Ninja V+. So my first custom setting that I'm using uh, is not a conventional 8K RAW. Um, I'm not using C-Log and I'm not using the ProRes RAW codec in the Atomos Ninja V+. I am recording in RAW without C-Log. Um, the reason for this is that it allows me to crank my ISO down in uh, bright settings and um, eliminate noise. I mean, it looks so good. Because I'm filming in RAW, I still get that 10-bit color, but without any noise in the shadows. And it's already color corrected, so I don't have to apply uh, any of the Canon LUTs to the product um, once I pull it out of camera and put it in post. So, using this one first, uh, which allows me a little bit more ways to play with the brightness also using ISO. If I need to bring it up, I can still bring it up to 800 and that adds a lot of brightness to it and I'm still right where C-Log would be. So uh, in the Atomos Ninja to record this, this is very simple. You're gonna go ahead and under record settings, you are going to use the ProRes HQ. Um, this is a 10-bit color uh, in ProRes HQ. Uh, out of a one terabyte hard drive, it gives me two hours and 12 minutes of record time. And uh, it's just a great codec. It's very easy to uh, work with in the computer. Now, granted, this is only going to record at 4K29 um, using the 8K RAW but it's going to be downsampled from 8K RAW. And the 8K RAW is going to be saved onto the memory card. So I have a 4K ProRes version that's very easy to work with and the 8K if I need it. Um, I have yet to have to provide 8K to anybody or need it for anything, but it looks great when downsampled to 4K. Very, very sharp. Um, and because I am not going to uh, use uh, the uh, Canon C-Log under LUTs in the monitor section here, I'm going to go ahead and leave it on native. Now, the other thing that you have to make sure that you do is under the record, uh, input settings, you want to make sure that the legalize button is checked, but nothing else is. This will keep your color accuracy. And I'll tell you, this looks so good. The colors are just an absolute wondrous representation of what you're filming. Very, very accurate. Very, very good. Okay, so that covers my first setting. Moving on to my second one, which is going to be cropped mode, which in the Atomos Ninja is going to end up being in 5K. So with the 4K 59 frame per second C-Log3, we do have to change our settings in the Atomos Ninja a little bit. I can still record a ProRes uh, HQ, but in camera, and it really helps if you set up your custom menus, which we'll go to right here. 
If you see in my custom menus, uh, I have movie record quality, HDMI raw output, movie cropping, my Canon log settings, stabilization, which needs to be turned off or on according to whether I'm using uh, HDMI raw output, and my Zebra settings. So if I'm going to record just like this, I have to go into my log settings and the reason why I have to do this is because Cinema Gamut isn't supported in ProRes uh, HQ on the Atomos Ninja. So if I'm recording out to the Ninja, what I have to do is change my color space to BT2020 and then go into the Ninja and go to the monitor, go to LUTs, and find the one that says BT 2020 C log, which you can see right there. I have it set up to preset four. So now that that's set up to BT 2020 C log, I go to monitor and then I select LUT. And that brings my BT 2020 C log to life. Now, once that's done, then I can go ahead and hit the record button and uh, there we go, and I'm recording, and I love the way that looks. It's very, very clean. So let's go ahead and get out of this. Uh, something else to keep in mind is that if you like the way that that looks, you can always hit during record. You'll see the during record flash up there and that will bake that 2020 LUT right in and it eliminates a step in post. So you don't have to find that uh, BT2020 to Rec 709 LUT um, in Adobe Premiere or whatever uh, editing software you're choosing to use. So that's a really nice feature to have and that is under the LUTs menu. So uh, now I'm going to go ahead and set up for another alternative, which, let's see here, that is Cinema Gamut C-Log 2. Okay, so this is going to set me up for my next uh, record mode. Using the same preset for my third custom mode here, which was at 4KD, 59 frames per second, I'm going to go ahead and go back into my custom modes and I will go ahead and turn that off. Oh, I got it. And that's why you put image stabilizer on your custom modes. We turn that off, then we can turn this to 8K raw. and send to the HDMI output. And just like that, I'm ready to start recording in ProRes RAW. Now we're in ProRes RAW. Now, something that needs to be shared on this is that ProRes RAW, you're, when you're shooting in 8K RAW, C-Log3 in camera, it's actually sending this Canon Log 2 gamma to the Atomos Ninja. So in order to get accurate color representation, you have to use the Cinema Gamut LUT under monitor, which is the Cinema Gamut C Log 2. So you'll notice that up here in the top left corner, you see it says 8K, 29.97 frames per second, C-Log 2. Uh, and then right here you see that I'm using Cinema Gamut C-Log 2 LUT, so I can view this correctly. That means that I'm gonna record pretty much an exact representation of what's coming out of the camera. This is the best quality that you're going to get out of the Atomos Ninja. 
And like I said, this is with the new operating system 11 on here. So this is gonna look a little bit different. If you haven't upgraded to the new operating system, uh, it's very nice. It's a little bit more uh, ergonomic and easy to use once you get used to it. The basic rules you wanna remember is that uh, when you're not shooting in log, uh, you can go ahead and use ProRes HQ on the monitor. But when you are shooting in, in log, under your log settings, you need to be in C-Log3 and BT2020 if it's not raw. If it's raw, you can shoot in Cinema Gamut. So AK raw, Cinema Gamut, any other C-Log going into the Atomos Ninja should be BT2020. And you have to have the corresponding LUTs activated in order to see it properly uh, in the uh, the Atomos Ninja. Hope all this information comes in useful and thanks for watching. Have a good one.